best infantry commander and three worst infantry commander. Today, we're going to discuss this. Now, I'm going to base this on my opinion. So if you have a different opinion, totally nothing wrong with it. Everybody got their own different playing styles. So for me, we're going to go through uh, the entire list of commanders in Rise of Kingdoms. I've faced them in the battlefield. Some of them, I have them. So I'm going to pick three best infantry commanders of all time that I have experienced in Rise of Kingdoms and three worst infantry that I have experienced in Rise of Kingdoms as well. Now, I want to challenge you real quick with this. Before we start the video and you guys get to see what I'm going to be talking about and why I'm saying all these stuff, I want you guys to leave in the comment section below, what is your top three, if you're going to pick on the all time best for all the infantry in Rise of Kingdoms and top three worst as well. So I need to see this in here. Now, for those who are going to be leaving the comments right away, I'm gonna be able to read your comments and I'm gonna try to reply to you guys as soon as I can. So make sure that as soon as the video uploads within the first three hours of that, leave an amazing comment so I can reply to it. Now, if it is later in the day, I will go ahead and look at it as well. But the best thing to do is if you're looking for me to reply into your comments, it has to be in the first three hour window because that's the best time that I can look into it. And uh, you know, I put my time into um, working on YouTube during that um, a lot of time. So without further ado, we create regular Rise of Kingdoms. You guys know the drill if you guys have been following our channel. And if you have not, make sure to leave a comment like we've just suggested. Leave a like as well into the video. So if you guys want to help out the channel with the algorithm, it's free. I totally appreciate it. All right. So without further ado, we're going to talk about the top three best infantry commanders and top three worst infantry commanders, in my opinion. All right, guys, my name is Shinchi42. If you guys still don't know who I am, three best commanders in Rise of Kingdoms that are infantry commanders. First of all, we're going to say it's Guan Yu. Guan Yu is ultimate best infantry commander, I believe, in Rise of Kingdoms. If you're running infantry setup in Rise of Kingdoms, I think Guan Yu is a must have um, in Rise of Kingdoms. Because if you do not have Guan Yu, I feel like you're missing out with your arsenal. There's many pairings that you can do with Guan Yu. One of them is Guan Yu and Chuck. One of them would be like a very common, which is the Guan Yu and Alexander. Now, you can also use Guan Yu with an epic commander. Let's say you're free to play. You're looking for something that you can do use with Guan Yu. You can use Guan Yu and Zun Tu, which is a very, very viable uh, commander setup. Guan Yu has an ability to silence the opponent. And of course, he also has an AOE, which makes it amazing. And it's going to silence all the targets that are being hit with the AOE. Now, Guan Yu is a primary commander because being a primary commander, you get higher damage. So you don't want for Guan Yu to become a secondary commander. Now, Guan Yu hits very hard in the open field. And as well as if you are going to rally strongholds and cities, Guan Yu is a perfect commander for that. I love Guan Yu. I have been using Guan Yu since I've got Guan Yu. This is one of the best infantry commanders, in my opinion. Now, with all of this stuff that we're going to talk about today, everybody's going to have different opinions. We just got to respect it. It might be best for me. It might not be best for you. So it's all uh, differentiated in here. Now, if you think my pick is good, let me know in the comment section below as well. Now, the second one that I would say that I think is, I don't have the commander, but it's very widely used in the open field. Oh man, I think I should have broke this down to our like different scenarios as well because ooh, this is gonna be very very challenging now too. I would say Harold Zigurdsson. Is that how you say it? Zigurdsson, Zigurdsson. So anyway, Harold, all right. Harold is a wonderful infantry and I think this is another must have for majority of the infantry players. Long term, this is something that you need to be looking for. And this is this is an absolute dominant in the open field. And again, you can use Herald for rallying strongholds and as well as cities. 
to face Harold in the battlefield. And when you swarm Harold, he just has that anti swarm function. He has a counter attack damage dealt on the map increased by 20%. If surrounded, counter attack damage dealt will be further increased. So I. I would say Harold is one of those most annoying infantry that I have to face. Now, being an archer player like me, I know my ways, which to target, right? I know my advantages and disadvantage when it comes to infantry. Whenever I face Harold, I notice that I have such a disadvantage sometime. Um, just because of the counterattack, it, it sucks, but I'm still able to defeat it, but it hurts. So... If you're an infantry setup, you want to have Herald because of that ability to deal that counter damage. So basically, it's a huge, it's a basic tank, I would say, tank. This is a tank commander that deals extensive amount of counter damage towards the enemy. We have to pick three best. So this makes it slightly challenging because there are other amazing commanders in here. Like I mentioned Alexander the Great. But I don't want to say he is one of the third best, in my opinion, because eh, it's, it's very hard. I don't want to say it's, you know, uh, Constantine, Martel. It's not. We have to talk about ultimate best. So if we look into some other commanders in here, like, um, would it be Pakal? No, not really, right? I would say the next best that players must have is Zenobia. Zenobia is, oh my god, absolutely OP defender, all right? This is something that you can use in your city. This is something that you can use into the flags and fortress and pass. Zenobia is an absolute dominant commander in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, I got Zenobia here. I was thinking like, oh, you know what? I can easily max her out anyway. I've got like 644 you know if i really want to max her out i can but i decided like you know what is not really important for me to get her plus now we got skill lock so just ignore that one okay but zenobia we've faced zenobia many many times in kvk and we have seen the absolute dominance when players use zenobia and yss absolutely like it's like able to defend a structure for a very long time does an amazing trades so I think everybody should definitely have Zenobia. Zenobia has an ability to heal. So here, heals nearby allied troops with the lowest percentage of units remaining. And heals own troops on the next turn as well. All right. And also, troops that are healed by her will gain 20% increased health for two seconds. So we know health is a stat that is hard to come by. And Zenobia having that increase of health and the max level of it is 40% which is absolutely insane. It's huge. Also has ability to reduce normal attack, increase normal attack whenever she is leading into the garrison. Infantry health bonus, infantry attack bonus, and damage to rallied armies increase as well. So Zenobia, no doubt, has to be one of the top three best infantry commanders in Rise of Kingdoms, in my opinion. It might be very different for you, but for me, this is it. These three, Guan Yu, Harold and Zenobia. These are the best three. Like, you can work with these commanders, with whatever commanders that you guys have. But I think having these three commanders late stage is very important because you can mix and match in whatever combination you want later on. I'm not saying that this is the only commanders that you should have. I'm just saying these are the three commanders that are very dominant. Now, I'm going to talk about the worst commanders now. We're going to talk about three worst infantry commanders that I think they're okay but i think they're not really the best in like investment in the long term in my opinion um i was so eager to have pakal but i think pakal is something that was a flop i don't even want to talk about this too much but pakal i was like you see i have five five sculpture i was like excited to get pakal i was like oh this is gonna be really good um really you know having that defense in there but once we saw it into the you know battles People are still using it to rallies. It's decent, but it's not as dominating as what we assume it would be. So, for my opinion, I think majority of players could probably skip Pakal. Now, another infantry that I would say that kind of loses its value. I won't say it's kind of hard. I don't want to say Richard is worse because Richard has his own PVE scenario benefits, barb chaining, and all these stuff. Um, works well in uh, what is that called? Um, canyons as well. 
But I think when it comes to PvP or it's like its own specific agenda of defense um, into the structure, I'd say Richard's one of the worst in that kind of scenarios because having that big heal and doesn't really have a lot of damage compared to Zenobia. I would say Richard is one of the worst uh, commanders in that scenario. But now, I'm not saying that Richard is totally bad because Richard is so useful in many other ways. It's just, I would place Richard into that category. I still use Richard. But in that category of the defense under the structures, you don't want to use Richard. I'd say Richard is one of the worst ones in there. So the challenging part now, who else would be deemed to be worst commander in here into the legendary? Because, oh man, I feel like players might get butt hurt now if I have to pick somebody else in here. I feel like we've already um, kind of butt hurt people now with Richard. But we have to pick something, right? Not every not everyone's going to be ranked the same. I would say Richard is one of them that kind of loses his value in the long term. Um, I don't want to say constant. This is challenging, man. I don't want to do this. I'm going to get so much hate on this one. Um, I, guess, I guess the next one I would say, I kind of want to say Charles Martel because I don't think many players really use Charles Martel anymore. Um, I think Constantine is still relative is still good in my opinion, especially a good defense. Um, how? Oh man, this is challenging. Anyway, um, I kind of want to say no, no, maybe not Charles Martel. That's challenging because Charles Martel is such a Gen One commander that is so useful. Uh, I I kind of want to just say that maybe it's Leonidas. I I, I kind of put myself in a bad position in here. Because those are such a good commander still, like Constantine and Charles Martel. Leonidas, though, is not widely used. Not a lot of players actually do a lot of the Guan Yu and Leonidas. So with Leonidas, you know, it's not as dominating as what people expect as well with this setup. Now, with the new commanders like Harold, Leonidas is kind of like overshadowed, in my opinion. Um, Leonidas, I don't think is one of the best commanders. I would say it's one of those unused commanders, not widely used. So then we can deem Leonidas into one of the worst top three worst commanders in Rise of Kingdoms for infantry. That is challenging, honestly, because majority of the infantry commanders are very good. I mean, Leonidas is good as well, but it's just not as used and as good as the functionality among other ones in here. Now, Leonidas, though, is really, really good when it comes to the canyons. I would say Leonidas would probably be better uh, in canyons and other, you know, commanders that we have in here. But again, Gen 1 commanders, you are, in, you are invested into this already. You're going to have, you know, um, Martel and Richard. So it's very challenging to say that they're worst. But I, like I said, Richard is kind of decline its uh, its value when it comes to its functionality so i'd say leonidas is in that category then so oh my god don't butcher the comment section below just because we have a different opinion let me know what you think about it instead what is your three worst legendary commanders or maybe just three worst epic commanders whatever you think is three worst in the infantry section for rise of kingdoms but this is my opinion we may have differences of opinion, and that's all right, right? We all have different brains that would function differently. So this is what I think, and I'm just sharing this information to you guys. All right, rockers, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again next time.